Hello Dan Safarians, today we have 80 reptiles and wild animals inside this box. We will be sorting them into two different boxes, so let's get right into it, okay? The first one right here, I think we have a corn snake, okay? This figure will go into the left box. This one right here, it's a haunt lizard. This is a beautiful figure that I've just added to my collection, okay? And here we have a collared lizard, which is a really beautiful lizard right over here. Um, let's see, what do we have right here? We have a goat. I'm not too sure what is the exact brand or you know the exact species of this goat. And here we have a pig, and I think this pig figure is pretty new. Yeah, I got this figure like you know pretty recently as well. This is a um, llama, I think. And we have a sea turtle baby, which looks very very nice. Okay, so yep really beautiful one this will definitely go into the left hand box this it's a beautiful albino burmese python yeah it looks really nice and here we have a king cobra yes a cobra you can see this figure it has very nice um articulation you can actually bend it into a pose that you like and um right here we have a sidewinder rattlesnake this is known as the Castle Wari. This will go to um, the right hand side. And um, this is a Haunt Hour, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. What is the name here? Yes, I think this is known as a Haunt Hour. And this is an Albatross. This is a Coit Snake, I think. It doesn't have a, does it have a name. Yes, it's known as a Coit Snake. A beautiful black snake. And this is known as a brown snake, which is a native animal to Australia. A giant tortoise right over here. This is a pretty old figure, you know, in our collection. We got this figure like quite recently to do a um, Australian animals video. This is actually a saltwater crocodile. And um, this is a Nile crocodile. This is definitely going into the reptiles box. This is a bird known as a cardinal. And here we have a billy goat. It has a very nice, nice looking beard, yeah, and two really nice horns. Here we have a snowy hour. Yes, a beautiful one. This is our one and only snowy hour figure. I'm not too sure what is the exact name for this snake. Oh, it has a black head. It's probably known as a black headed. Snake, I'm not too sure. This is a crocodile. Okay, reptile box. A pig, a small little pig. I think this came along in like a farm animal set. I got this call re really recently to do a farm animal video for you guys. It's known as a Guernsey call, and it's actually like a type of call which is very popular among farmers, dairy farmers. Here we have a goat, probably another billy goat. Voucher, they are actually like scavengers, they will actually fit on the, the dying or the dead. A black sheep, okay. This is a beautiful iguana. I think this has got to be one of our most beautiful um, reptile figure. Yeah, it looks really nice. A red ear slider, okay. I have two red ear sliders. Real red ear sliders in my tank. They are bigger than this um, red ear slider right now. Yeah, they used to be like so small, and uh, right now they they are just you know great eaters. They eat a lot, and they have grown so big. This is a giant tortoise. A macaw. We have two of them to be exact. I actually bought two figures of the exact same um, sculpt. This it's a uh, what is this hour? It's known as a long eared hour, and um, they actually use nest left behind by other birds, so they don't build their own nest. They don't make their own nest. A golden retriever. I love golden retrievers. Hopefully one day I'll be able to get a golden retriever. But I think when they are young, they can destroy a lot of furniture. A white alligator. With a cow right here. This is a saltwater crocodile. They have, you know, really, really big bite for us, I think. 
they have the biggest spike frost in the entire animal kingdom. We have a sheep, okay? This is known as a phoenix rooster. Yeah. And uh, this is a pelican. This is a Camps Ridley sea turtle baby. Yep. I think they are actually using the same sculpt if I'm not wrong. Oh no, they are actually different. The pose is actually different. I'm not too sure, is this an alligator? I think it should be an alligator because the snot is kind of like pretty broad. Crocodiles have more narrow snots, narrower snots, and this is known as a caveman, which is like a, you know, a small species of crocodile. Peacock, this figure has been around with ours for like many years. I think we probably got this in, back in like 2014. And um, turkey. Here's a turkey. Komodo dragon. This is known as a um, thorny devil. Yeah, I think this lizard right here, it can be found in... Um, oh my goodness, why am I putting some of the reptiles into um, the right box? You know, I was totally distracted. Okay, this is known as a... Um, what is this? I can't remember. Horror snake. Oh yeah, horror snake. And this is actually a baby. We have a bald eagle right here. Okay, they are actually like a um, you know, um, national symbol for United States of America. I think we have a beautiful little hen. Okay, and this is a Siamese cat. A sea turtle, not exactly sure what is the exact species, but just probably like a generic sea turtle. This is known as a hyacinth parrot. Yeah, hyacinth. I think the, the name actually comes from the colors. This is a flamingo. This is a um, leatherback sea turtle. Really beautiful one. We have a cockatoo right here. I really love this feathers on top of the head. They look make him look like so cool. Another hen right here. Not exactly sure what is the exact species. This is known as a pot ballad pig. Yeah, it's it's looking very adorable, I'll say. Pangolin is not supposed to be in this collection video, but you know somehow it came here. I have no idea. And uh, what is this? Let's take a look. It's a token. Yes, I think. Just token itself, there are like different breeds and species. And um, this is like a Jack Russell Terrier. We have a couple of chicks right over here. And um, a foal. Yeah, baby horse. Looks so adorable. Our last figure of the day is actually this really beautiful fruit lizard, which is like a, a lizard. You can see the fruit is like wide open. It reminds me of the Jurassic Park. Of the Lophosaurus. So that's it, guys. So thanks for watching this. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. I'll be doing more collection videos because you guys seem to love it. And um, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.